Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Onir Ban and uh, today is a second class for accounts receivable. Today we are going to show how to post a customer invoice and uh, how to uh, post the incoming payment from the customer. All right. So with that, we, uh, we will uh, log into SAP ECC and this is the SAP login icon. So we will click on this to log in. I'll enter my ID and password. So this is the SAP Easy Access initial screen and to uh, process a customer invoice, we need to, the menu path is accounting, uh, financial accounting, customers, document entry, and this is the T code FB70. Uh, and this is the menu path. So if we instead of going through this menu path, if we click on it, if we type AB70, it will take us to the same screen. Right. So this is a screen where we will be entering the customer invoice. So we have already in our previous uh, video, we have already uh, configured a customer. Uh, so we will take one of them. Uh, so let's find them out. So we'll we'll take DEF and company will select this customer and we'll take the invoice date as today's date. <clears throat> Let's, uh, the you know, like um, take amount as 50,000. So this amount is uh, what um, we will receive uh, from uh, selling uh, goods to uh, DEF and company. Uh, we will receive 50,000 or we have a so I have mentioned 50,000 here in the text. I will mention sold goods to DEF and company. GL account, uh, I have already uh, configured a sales account, uh, sales ledger. Okay, so we'll select this. So the journal entry would be DEF account debit, which is the six, the, the number is six, so DEF account debit to sales account, right? So that's what we are actually doing right now. So uh, we have, uh, we are going to create a sales account, the sales ledger. And if we put a star here, it will actually populate this, uh, the same amount which we have, same amount which we have entered in this amount field, right? And we will hit enter. So they see this is zero now and uh, this is green so we can post this transaction so we'll click on this save button see this amount uh, this is this um, <clears throat> transaction is posted and this is the document number right so if we go out now and then we want to display this so it's def account debit to sales account okay now, uh, let's imagine that uh, DEF and company has made a payment to us. And before we make the payment, let's see how it looks like in the DEF and company account. Uh, so if we want to do that, we have to go out from here. And uh, we'll go to accounting and then financial accounting. And then customers and then account so this is what this will give us the line item details of uh, def and company fbl 5n right so if we go here um, and if we type the customer account number which is six uh, it will show us that uh, 50,000 has been posted in this account right def and company right and uh, if we go out of this and uh, we type FBL 5 and we will also go to the same same screen right and here we will select the customer account which where we have posted the invoice which is DEF and company okay and if you see this is open item we are going to list the all we, will, we are going to generate a list of all the open items so we click on execute you see that this 50,000 rupees has been posted in DEF and company right now, um, now if we receive a payment, now if you receive the payment from DEF and company of the amount of 50,000, the entire amount, 
how to uh, post the or post the payment in DFN company, how to process the incoming payment. That's what I'm going to show you next. Next. So the next is how to process incoming customer payment. So to do that, we have to go to accounting, financial accounting, and then customers, and then document entry, and this incoming payments. CF-28 is the incoming payment. <laughs> Instead of going to the menu path, if we if we go out slash n, if to go to the initial screen, SAP Easy Access screen, we have to type slash n. And then if we type F-28, we'll go to the same screen. Right? Now, um, now let's imagine we have received the payment today. Right? Uh, the payment entry, the type is DZ and the company code, if you notice, it is BRPL, the, the our company code, which we have configured before. Period is 2, which means that our fiscal year variant is V3, which, which means it starts from April to March. So April is period 1 uh, and uh, today it is May. So May is period 2, right? So that's why it's mentioned period 2. Now, uh, where we are going to receive this uh, payment? So let's imagine that we received an entire 50,000 in cash. So we'll, we'll select the cash account. So this cash ledger has already been configured before. So I'm going to select this. And uh, we have received the entire 50,000 from the customer. Now we are going to also select the customer, customer account, which is six, which is DEF and company. Right, and then we hit enter. Now, then this will bring us to this screen. Now we have received the entire fifty thousand. See, the entire amount entered is fifty thousand, and assigned is fifty thousand. Not assigned is zero. This is good enough to post the payment. Now, if we have received, if you remember, we have uh, actually uh, captured this or discussed this in our accounts payable videos. Uh, how to how to you know like um, treat the partial payment if if they have made a partial payment we would have entered that amount here residual payment so all this we have discussed uh, during the accounts payable uh, same thing is here in accounts receivable but here we are have received the entire fifty thousand payment and we are going to post the payment right so this uh, payment has been posted now we will go to the vendor account and see how it is appearing in the in the vendor ledger. Now, if we go to the screen, we come out of this. So if you remember that uh, initially the 50,000 was posted and this is how it was looking. Now, if we go out of this and then uh, we hit enter and then execute. See, no items is selected because it has all gone to, because the payment is made for the invoice. So it's now going to the, it's no more in the open item. So if I click here, it has gone to the cleared item. I click hit on execute. You will see this is the, the latest 50,000, 50,000, which I have right now made the payment and the, this pair has made previously. So all these payments has been cleared. These two are our entry right now that we have made. This is the invoice payment and this is the uh, payment entry. This is the invoice entry and this is the payment entry, right? So this is um, all about, uh, you know, posting, uh, processing a customer invoice and processing an incoming payment. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please uh, click on the like icon and share this video with your friends. And uh, if you haven't yet subscribed the channel, please do subscribe. Thank you.